What's up my new money family people? This is your family head and I are also. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about the steps I took when I decided that I want to resign from my job to manage my own business. As you know, I was previously working in the bank and I had my fashion business as my side hustle. I resigned from the bank and my, my fashion business is now my main business and YouTubing is my side hustle. So I'll talk to you about the steps I took when I decided to resign. At the end of this video, I want you guys to do something for me. Just show me love, okay, by sharing the video. That way I know you are into the kind of content I create. It will encourage me to create more. But if you not, don't share. And I'll know that you don't like the kind of videos I do. Don't share. If you don't like. <laughs> Alright. So in this video, I use myself as case study. I take you through the steps I took once I decided that I wanted to resign. Alright, so this is um, an introduction to a series I'm creating. I'll take you um, deeper into each of the steps I um, bring out in this video. I bet you you would want to know, okay, because um, when I start going deeper, I'll tell you, you know, some of my wins and some of my, you know, my rock bottom moments ever in my life. I bet you you want to know this, right? So when it comes out, I'll put them all in a playlist. So I don't deprive you of this information. It's very key to help you and to encourage you. Some of the stories are very, very funny. Some are very, very sad. Okay, so yeah, stay tuned. When I bring them out, definitely um, you check them out. Okay, all right. So let's go into it. What's the first thing I did? The first thing I started doing was saving. So I will ask that you save. Once you start that, um, once you decide you're going to um, you know, resign at a point, you start saving. So it becomes a cushion. So you, 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 you ask yourself at a point that when I resign today, um, what I have left, is it going to be enough for me for the next six months, for the next one year? Am I um, going to still be able to honor my commitments? All right. I know um, you have commitments because you take care, you sort out some bills. All right. So once you decide, you save enough. After saving enough, while saving, the, the second point is to decide on the kind of business you want to go into. This is very, very crucial. You don't want to joke with it. Okay? Very crucial. Decide. Decide on the kind of business because that is going to be it. When you go out, that's going to be your business. Alright? So please decide and decide well. Once you decide, takes us to the next point, you educate yourself. You educate yourself very well in that field, in that regard, okay? You take proper education, proper education. Once you educate yourself, you know, you know uh, the kinds of things you will need. And that brings us to the next point. You start acquiring the kinds of equipment you need for your side hustle, okay? Because at this point, it is your side hustle that's going to be your main hustle in future. Feel me? So you start um, buying your equipment very very necessary okay so whilst you do this whilst you buy your equipment whilst you save you plan please always keep a notepad by your side very necessary a notepad by your side and research whilst you research you jot down about you know what you want to go into so the next point is the real deal after planning after saving you start you start your side hustle you start what you want to do you are too gentle, you know, your suit and tie, you go and sit down, talk to the client some way, you sip coffee. Just get some debt under your fingers. Just do the work. Enough of the learning, okay? Your, your, your burning desire has been burning for too long. At a point, you have to stop. I mean, don't stop yet, but start the business. Start, you better start, make mistakes, correct yourself, and move forward. Number seven will be networking. Networking, networking, networking. It is very crucial for your side hustle or your business startup. Just network. Anybody you meet, tell them about your business. That's the only way you can get your business out there. You don't have money to go and advertise on TV or radio or billboards. You network. You are the walking billboard. You become the walking billboard. Just network and talk to people about your business because you need these networks. Okay, so the next point will be, that's number eight, making money. Start making money. Start making money with your side hustle or your startup business as you, um, you are still at your 
your, your day job or your nine to five, start making money on the side. Of course, if you want to resign, your business has to start making you some money before you resign. Okay? You can't resign whilst you don't have any money from you know, the business you are going to do full time. You have to see some income coming in. Number nine will be build your library. When you go out, you will need to um, fall on you know, some of these things you've built. The training manuals, you know, you go out for training, you go, you do external trainings and internal trainings. Please take these documents seriously and keep them, keep them, keep them. Okay, because when you resign, when you are on your own, when you have a team of your own, you also train them. And it's these same documents, these same training materials you are going to use to train them. And, and this brings us to the next point. After um, um, saving or putting the documents aside, you study the structure of your 9 to 5. Where you are, you study the structure, you, you study how things are run. The HR policies, the, 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 the code of ethics, you know, all the policies, the dress code and everything, the culture, the corporate culture. You study it because you are going to just make some tweaks to fit the kind of business you are going to do. Number 11 will be to set a deadline. The moment of truth. Set a deadline for yourself. It could be six months, it could be one year, it could be two years, but there has to be a deadline. Guess what? This is what, to, um, what will bring some sense of agency into whatever you are doing. Okay? I mean, if you are just doing it, I mean, any day, just go and move along. Take one day after the other. Let me tell you, you will never resign. You will see 10 years and you'll still be where you are. Set a deadline. And when the time catches, I mean, <laughs> if the time catch, and when the time is due, just pa, put in your resignation. Because at this stage, you would have planned, you would have saved, you would have educated yourself, you would have built your library, you know, and all the things. You, you will have all the resources, your equipment and everything. So you plan your exit peacefully, okay? At this stage, your colleagues would have become your customers because you would have started selling to them. They would have become your customers, okay? So you, you start making some money. The last point will be to repeat these processes, okay? So when I was at the bank, I started my fashion business as a side hustle. I did, I, grind, I went through this process, I resigned, and when I resigned and I was doing my fashion um, full time, I went through the same process again and started my YouTube channel, my YouTube business. So this channel is my side hustle. And my fashion business is my full time hustle. Correct? Okay. So that's it. I mean, it's just simple. All right? Guys, this is the spot for you and I. This is the spot where we get to take our future into our own hands, you know, talk about things, things that we need. Things that are bothering us, you know, things that are keeping us down, things we can't um, express ourselves in, you know, at our jobs. I mean, this is the place because there's there are um, like-minded people here, you know, away from all the negativity in the world. Here we keep dropping, I keep dropping bombs, you know, I keep encouraging you. I have one mission. My mission is to get you from your comfort zone and to get you to where you really want to be, where you really deserve. Just feel free to join our secret Facebook group. That's the New Money Family Group. Okay, where we get to talk about stuff, we get to help ourselves go, share ideas, you know, network for our business, make money together. Cool? I want to also ask you to start, if you've not subscribed to my page yet, my YouTube channel yet, if you are not following me on um, Facebook, Instagram, you know, on social media, just start by doing that now. If you've not done it yet, please pause. Go and like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube page, and turn on notifications so that anytime I post a video, you get notified, you will watch, so that we will grow together, all right? Mind you, we are fighting a common enemy, okay? Please, this is the new African. The new African is not supposed to work 9 to 5 till retirement. You need to retire early, start making money for yourself, and re enjoy life you know, in the future. So this has been, um, you know, the steps I took once again, um, and that got me here. Okay? So yeah, that will be it for today's video. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.